Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Ross. Today's part two, where I'm teaching you how to jump around between the different parts of a subform and a form and the header and the footer and all that stuff. If you haven't watched part one yet, go watch part one because I really don't want to explain what we're doing again. <laughs> now, in part one, we covered the beginner stuff, which is using the F6 key to jump around between the different sections. But we're done with that, so let's get rid of the beginner label up here. Where, where are you? Yeah, we'll get rid of that guy. I, I can slide developer up here like that and make it bigger. I, oh, I can make my head bigger now, too. Check this out. Okay. Yes, this is PowerPoint. Oh, just a bit too big. Little things like that bother me. Okay. All right, there we go. Perfect. All right, you guys ready? Here we go. All right, so yesterday we did this so that if we're up here, let me go tab, 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 tab. It puts us in the first field of the header of the detail section, or excuse me, of the header of the subform instead of putting us in the detail section. Now, I'm stuck here. I can't get to the detail section unless I know to hit F6. There we go. And that'll move me down to the next section. But again, and we don't necessarily want to have to remember the F6 every time, right? So it'd be nice if when we're in this field, if there's an easy way to get down to here. All we have to do to do that is to intercept the keystroke when the user hits a key, right? And say, hey, if they just hit the tab key, jump down to here. Okay? All right, how do we do that? Well, there's an event called the key down event. And I've had a couple of videos before where I've covered the key down event. Here's one of them. I show you how to move up and down in a continuous form just like... Uh, just like Excel using the arrow keys. You just intercept the, the keystrokes, and if it's an up arrow, you go to the previous record. If it's a down arrow, you go to the next one, and so on. So we can do the same trick here. See, a lot of access, a lot of, a lot of learning access is just learning how to take the Legos I've already given you and just put them together in different orders, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the notes field, make sure you're in the notes field. Remember, that's two clicks, right? If you're up here and you click once there, you're on the subform object, you have to click a second time to go to the notes field. All right, that, that throws beginners a lot. All right, so now I can double click on this guy, go to the events tab. We're gonna look for the key down event, which is right, meow, dot, dot, dot. Okay, now I have to know in here if the user has hit the tab key on the keyboard, okay? Now the key down event gets two bits of information and I've talked about this before, the key code, which is like the ASCII key number value of whatever key was pressed. Right, and the shift is whether or not the shift controller alt keys have been pressed. So I just really want to know what tab key is, but I don't really want to go look it up. So I'm just going to have access tell me what key was pressed. Right? How do I do that? Well, message box the key code. Right? Who? That's, forget looking stuff up in in online. No, I'm just going to have access do it for me. Right? So save that. Come back out here. All right. Save it. Close it. Close it. Whatever. Now I'm going to click in here. And if I hit the, like the A key on the keyboard, hit A, boom, that's 65. Okay, that's good. And then it processes that. All right, let me get rid of that. Backspace, er, that backspace is an eight. And then it processes that. Okay, what's a tab key? Tab is nine. I just hit the tab key. So tab is nine. It's also, I think VB tab is the constant for it, but I never use those. Okay, so now that I know that, I can go back to my code and I can say right in here, if key code equals nine, then, and I always want to remind future me what this is, right? Tab key. Even though I put the nine in there, what, if I'm looking at this five years from now, I'm not going to remember what nine is. So tell you, commenting is for you. I wish 20 year ago, me would have commented my database that I'm still using today. <laughs> I look at it and I'm, I'm like, what was I thinking? All right. So if the user does press the tab key, what are we going to do? We're just going to jump to the product name field. And it's in the same form. So all I need is do command dot go to control product name. And that's it. Yeah, can I make that one line? Yeah, I could. This is more readable. I got my, my tab key thing there too. Whatever you like. They're your Legos. You build them however you want. You don't need a, an end if for this. You could just do the same thing in one line. But I like this. Okay. Save it. Debug compile once in a while. And then come over here. And I'm going to go tab. Tab, okay, there we go. It intercepted it, right? Click in here, hit tab, and it jumps down there. Now, it's jumping down. If you wanted to force it to jump to the first record, you could throw a go to record in there as well. Because if I'm down here and I go up here and I go tab, 
right? That's, a, that's up to you. That's just on one more control. You can go to product name and then do command dot go to record comma comma AC first. If that's what you want, if that's the behavior you, you if that's the behavior you desire, right? Come up here, tab. So that's up to you. I think I, I, I kind of don't like that because if I'm down here and I want to edit the notes, I don't want it to jump to a different record. So that's up to me. I'll leave this line in here if you want. All right, I'm going to rem it out though. Okay. Now that leaves one more section that we have to deal with. And that's if you get to the end of this, because watch, if you go tab, 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 all the way to the end, when you get to the last line down here, it just cycles between that. Okay. Now, if you want it to jump somewhere else, when you get to the end here, maybe, maybe jump back up to the top and you could start the whole thing over again. You could certainly do that with a little bit more code. And I'm going to show how to do that in the extended cut for the members. I'm going to show you how to go from the end of the sub form back up to the top of the parent form. It's a little bit trickier. Got to do a little bit more work, but it's not, it's not super hard. But we'll cover that in the extended cut for the members. Silver members and up get access to all of my extended cut videos. There's hundreds of them, folks. I've been doing these for what? Uh, almost five years now I've been doing these. Tech helps with the extended cuts, I think. I think. Not sure. I had to look it up. It's been four years. March of 2020 was my first one. So we're coming up on, on five years. Almost. We're getting there. This is the very first tech help video. So if you want to go watch it, there it is. <laughs> Anyways, I haven't counted the extended cuts, but there's a lot of them. I've been trying to do at least one a week, and it's been five years. So you do the math. Okay. Um, but we're going to cover this in the extended cut, and I hope to see you there. And don't forget, if you like learning with me and you want to continue your VBA exploration journey, I've got tons of developer lessons on my website. There's a link. Check it out. But that's going to do it. That's your tech help video for today. Hope you learned something. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you next time. A special thank you and shout out to our Diamond sponsors. First, we have Juan Soto with Access Experts Software Solutions, manufacturing experts specializing in Access and SQL Server. Juan is a 13-time Microsoft Access MVP. You can check them out at accessexperts.com. Another shout out to Sammy Shama from Shama Consultancy. Sammy is a certified Microsoft Office specialist, and he not only offers access application development, but he also provides one-on-one -on -one tutoring services. So if you need someone to hold your hand and help you with your access project, Sammy is your guy. Check him out at shamaconsultancy.com. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and post any comments you may have below. I do try to read and answer all of them as soon as I can. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free. Click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Want to learn more? Click the show more link below the video to find additional resources and links. YouTube does a pretty good job of hiding it. It's right down there. See this part of the description here, right? The name, the videos up here. There's a little show more down there, right down the bottom. It's kind of hard to find. But once you click on that, you'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. And YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted like they used to do. But if you'd like to get an email every time I post a new video, click on the link to join my mailing list. And you can pick how frequently to get emails from me, either as they happen daily, weekly, or monthly. Now, if you'd like to become a paid member of my channel and receive all kinds of awesome perks, click on the join button. You'll see a list of all the different membership levels that are available, each with its own special perks, including my extended cut videos, access to my code vault, lots of VBA source code in there, template downloads, and lots more. I'll talk more about these perks at the end of the video. Even if you don't want to commit to becoming a paid member and you'd like to help support my work, please feel free to click on the tip jar link. Your patronage is greatly appreciated and will help keep these free videos coming. I got some puppies to feed. But don't worry, no matter what, these free tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more and they'll always be free. Now, if you really want to learn access and you haven't tried my free access level one course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access, including building forms, queries, reports, and more. It's over four hours long. 
You can find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. I'll put a link down below you can click on. And did I mention it's completely free? The whole thing, free, four hours, go watch it. And okay, okay, a lot of you have told me that you don't have time to sit through a four hour course. So I do now have a quicker Microsoft Access for Beginners video that covers all the basics faster in about 30 minutes. And no, I didn't just put the video on fast forward. <laughs> but I'll put a link to this down below as well. Now, if you like level one, level two is just a dollar. That's it, one dollar. And that's another whole like 90 minute course. Level two is also free for paid members of any level, including supporters. So if you're a member, go watch level two, it's free. Okay, want to get your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page and send me your question there. Members get priority, of course. While I do try to read and respond to all of the comments posted below in the comments section, I only have time to go through them briefly a couple of times a month, and sometimes I get thousands of them. So send me your question here on the tech help page and you'll have a better chance of getting it answered. And while you're on my website, be sure to stop by my Access Forum. We've got lots of lively conversations about Microsoft Access and other topics. I have a fantastic group of moderators who help me answer questions. Shout out to Alex, Kevin, Scott, Adam, John, Dan, Juan, and everybody else who helps out on the site. I appreciate everything you do. I couldn't do it without you. Be sure to follow my blog, find me on Twitter, and of course on YouTube. Yeah, I'm on Facebook too, but I don't like Facebook. Don't get me started. Now, let's talk more about those member perks if you do decide to join as a paid member. There are different levels, silver, gold, platinum, and diamond. Silver members and up get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, one free beginner class every month, and some other perks. Gold members get all the previous perks, plus access to download the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus access to my code vault where I keep tons of different functions that I use, the code that I build in most of the videos. You'll also get higher priority if you do submit any tech help questions. Now answers are never guaranteed, but you do go higher in the list for me to read them. And if I like your question, you got a good chance of it being answered. You'll also get one free expert level class each month after you've finished the beginner series. Platinum members get all the previous perks plus even higher priority for tech help questions. You get access to all of my full beginner level courses for every subject. And I cover lots of different subjects like Word, Excel, VBA, ASP, lots of different stuff, not just access. These are the full length courses found on my website. You get all the beginner ones. In addition, once you finish the expert classes, you get one free developer class per month. So lots of training. And finally, you can also become a diamond sponsor. You'll have your name or your company name listed on a sponsors page that will be shown on each video as long as you're a sponsor. You'll get a shout out in the video and a link to your website or product in the text below the video and on my website. So that's it. Once again, my name is Richard Rost. Thank you for watching this video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something today. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you again soon.